Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to implement after returning and after throwing advice, advices using XML approach. So when we talk about the after returning EOP advice, after returning advice will be called if method being intercepted returns a value without throwing an exception and another type of advice we have a after throwing AOP advice AOP throwing advice will be called if method being intercepted throws an exception so let's go ahead and create these two advices so in previous tutorial I had created this project a spring AOP before and after advice using XML approach so same project I'm going to copy and I'll paste it in this same workspace and I would give the project name a spring AOP AOP after returning after returning and after throwing advices using XML so project name is so big so this project I have created here I am going to show you how to implement after returning and after throwing advice so let's expand this project so this is the project we had created in previous video tutorial so here our service class contains one method so let's make some change in this service class uh, this method i'm going to write a new method like like this this method returns some object is called account and method name i'm going to write get account by customer id okay and this method takes a customer id like and this let's customize is an string customer id and here here what I will do here you can write SOP and uh, previous things I have deleted right so so here I'm going to declare a map so as we are not interacting with the database so let's create a map and map be contained a string and as a key and account as a value I would say map equal to null and control shift o for organize import and let's create a, a static block and this map I am going to access in the static block so makes this map as a static as well this map I am going to instantiate with this static block so new and any map implementation you can take so here I'm going to take hash map and in this hash map we can add elements like key we can add like if we have customer suppose whose ID is something like this and account you can add like this so suppose customer account ID is something like this this dummy account and description you can say money saving account you can say saving account and we can add some more elements in this map for simplicity just I am going to use two account something like that zero zero and something like one one which ends with one one here triple one current account 
now here we will we will iterate this map so there are many ways we can iterate map so i'm using entry set this is the easiest one so entry set returns you the set of entry objects so we can make use of use of enhanced for loop to iterate this map now here you can check if inside if entry dot get key right dot equals so i mean key is the string right and customer i also string so you can make equal operator to compare these two things and if you get this customer id is available in this map then we can return account object right so account object we may declare here and finally you can return this account so return directly you can write entry dot this is simple business logic so get value right it's very simple and now return this guy is over here so finally oh sorry if you are writing a return a statement over here so don't read so you can assign this value over here right so if this customer id is available in this map then account object we are finally returning from here if customer id is not available in this map then this if a statement will not be executed and null value will be returned to the client so it's very simple business logic now service layer implementation is completed now here in advice method if you go to the advice and here we have already defined before and after advice so here uh, i would like to define advice is called after returning advice right so after give the method name anything but meaningful so after returning after returning advice i've given the method name and this method name uh you can pass a uh, i mean method attribute you can decide what other attributes you need to pass so i am going to pass join points as well as account over here right so here you can say after returning method name and class name you can print and here here you can print the object as well this object you can print right here now i go to this class and here i can override it to a string method so right click over here go to here and select this option generate select all fields and here we are just overridden to a string method so when i will try to print account then the state of this object will be printed now this advice i need to configure in xml file right so i i'm expecting you would have watched my previous tutorial so here eop config starts here closing here in, in that i have defined eop point cut so point cut is this is expect expect j expression language so here a star represents any return type and this is the package and inside the package this is a class and here a star means any methods and dot dot means any number of arguments so this basically this point cut is matching for this r method so let's define previous earlier we have defined these two eop eop before and after so here inside the eop aspect i'm going to define eop colon we have a another tag is called after return here you will need to define a method name so this is our method name so let's define a specify method name and here also we can define a point cut reference and point cut we have already defined so we can 
assign this ID over here and this advice takes one more parameter is called returning so this returning here we are going to specify this whatever name you are specifying here same variable name you need to specify here that's it so now we are done configuring after returning advice now go to the here in customer class I mean cust uh, I mean uh, client class from here we can make call to our method service method right so here control shift go for organizing port now we are now get and here customer ID we need to pass let's check for the positive scenario in here we have a customer ID like this one right so pass this customer ID and this ID this will return you the account object so you may print this account details here here you can check if account not equal to null then you may print account dot get customer number and you may print account description as well get account description now let's run this application see advices are getting called or not so look at here so after returning method get account by customer id and class name here so this statement we are printing from this advice after returning advice right and after that we are trying to print the state of this account so we are successfully able to print and finally this information we are printing in our client class so client class right so here we are successfully implemented after returning advice and this is why it will be called if method execution happens successfully without any exception all right so that's all i wanted to teach you in this video tutorial next video tutorial uh, we will learn how to implement after throwing advice so in same project i am going to add one more method and that will be for after throwing advice so see you there and till that happy learning thank you so much for watching my video